എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് മെക്കാനിക്സ് ലാഡ ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ പാർട്ട് ടു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ ത്രീ എ യൂണിഫോം ലാഡർ ഓഫ് ലെങ്ത് ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ ആൻഡ് വെയ്റ്റ് ഡബ്ല്യു ഇസ് ലീനിങ് അഗെയിൻസ്റ്റ് എ വോൾ ഇറ്റ് മേക്സ് ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് ഡിഗ്രി വിത്ത് ദ ഹൊറിസോണ്ടൽ എ മാൻ ഹൂസ് വെയ്റ്റ് ഇസ് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് സിക്സ് ടൈംസ് ദാറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദി ലാഡർ ഗോസ് അപ്പ് ദി ലാഡർ ഡിറ്റർമിൻ ദ മാക്സിമം ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഈ കെൻ ക്ലൈം ബിഫോർ ദ ലാഡർ സ്ലിപ്സ് അസ്യൂം ദ കോഫിഷ്യൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ വോൾ ആൻഡ് ലാഡർ ആസ് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് ടു ഫൈവ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ഫ്ലോർ ആൻഡ് വോൾ ആസ് സീറോ പോയിൻറ്റ് ത്രീ സൊ ദിസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ വാസ് ആസ്റ്റ് ഫോർ ദി യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ഹെൽഡ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഓഗസ്റ്റ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ആൻഡ് ദി ടോട്ടൽ മാർക്സ് ഫോർ ദിസ് പ്രോബ്ലം and in this question it was given the coefficient of friction between floor and wall so if you imagine you can understand that there is a small mistake so you have to write down so you have to write down an assumption that assuming the coefficient of friction between the floor and the ladder as 0.3 you have to attend this problem so when you start this problem you have to write assuming that the coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor is 0.3 start doing the problem so that is uh, the method to be adopted if you find any such uh what error in the question okay now if you draw the figure you will get it as uh, ab is the ladder the length is 25 meter the total weight of the ladder is capital w and that is acting at the centroid of the or center of gravity of the ladder that is point g so weight w is acting vertically downwards at that point g so that will be the midpoint of the ladder so 25 meter divided by 2 12.5 so the distance ag equal to gb equal to 12.5 meters next step the ladder if it is slipping what will happen the end b will move to the right so the frictional force will be mobilized in the opposite direction that is that will be frictional force fb equal to point mu into rb that is 0.3 into rb and that will be acting to the left towards the left the inclination of the ladder is 45 degree then at end a the ladder will move down okay so the frictional force will be mobilized in the direction opposite to the movement of the ladder so that will be acting upwards so fa equal to 0.25 into ra acting upwards r is the vertical reaction at a so that will be normal to the wall now another person having weight 0.6 times the weight of the ladder that is acting at or uh, acting at point d okay so d is the point where a man of uh, 0.6 having weight 0.6 times the weight of the ladder is standing now let let us assume that the distance db is equal to x okay so distance db is equal to x now we will consider the ladder to be in equilibrium uh, to be in equilibrium at the under the action of these forces so if you consider the conditions of static equilibrium the three basic uh, conditions that is first one algebraic sum of the forces along the horizontal equal to zero so here there are two horizontal forces one is ra that is acting to the towards the right and rb is act sorry not rb fb fb is acting to the towards the left so ra equal to fb that is ra equal to 0.3 into rb that is the first equation now considering the vertical forces we get fa that is the vertical force acting upwards 
and RB acting upwards then 0.6 W and W acting downwards so the equation will be RB plus 0 0.25 into RA equal to W plus 0.6 W next taking moment so algebraic sum of the moments so algebraic sum of moments about point B is equal to 0 so the first force is FA the moment due to FA is FA into BC FA into BC is a clockwise moment then RA into AC that is also clockwise then point 6 W into BE anti-clockwise W into BF that is also anti-clockwise now we have to calculate the distances AC, BC, D, uh, sorry, BE and BF now first we will consider the triangle ABC in triangle ABC AC will be AB sin 45 so that is 25 sin 45 and BC will be 25 cos 45 okay then consider triangle DEB in that triangle we have assumed the distance DB to be X so cos theta cos 45 will be BE by X so BE will be equal to X cos 45 similarly triangle GFB if you apply the cosine rule you can see that the distance BF will be BG cos 45 so what is BG BG will be 12.5 that is half of AB that is 12.5 so 12.5 cos 45 will be equal to BF now the equation for moment will be 0 0.25 into RA into 25 cos 45 plus RA into 25 sin 45 equal to 0.6 W into X cos 45 plus W into 12.5 cos 45. So if you solve these equations you will get the value of RA as 0 0.4464 W and uh, RB is equal to 1.488 W and X is equal to 2.415 meter so the value of X you will get it as 2.415 meter Now, if you solve, if you substitute the value of RA, that is 0 0.4464W in the first equation, that is how you get RB as 1.488W. Okay, so that is how you get the value of uh, the that is the position of x that is uh, 2.415 meter. Next question. A uniform ladder of 4 meter length rests against a vertical ball and it makes an angle 45 degree with the vertical. Assume the coefficient of friction between wall and the ladder is 0 0.4 and that between floor and the ladder is 0 0.5. If a man whose weight is half that of the ladder ascends it then how high will he be when the ladder slips? This was also a previous year university question asked in 2016 and this was asked for 10 marks. So here AB is the ladder. The coefficient of friction between the ladder and the floor is 0 0.5. So at A, 
the vertical reaction ra will be acting upwards and the frictional force will be acting fa that will be acting towards the left and uh, fa will be equal to mu into ra that is 0.5 into ra at b force fb that is a force of friction and that will be acting upwards 0.4 into rb and rb is the vertical reaction at b now if you consider the weight w to be acting uh, at g that is at a distance of 2 meter from a so that is the midpoint of ab so ag distance is 2 meter and we assume the uh, weight of half 0.5 w to be acting at d and uh, that is at a distance of x from a so if you write down the equations you will get it as ra plus 0.4 rb equal to w plus w by 2 then algebraic sum of the horizontal force is equal to 0 so rb equal to 0 0.5 ra taking moment about a you will get 0.4 rb into ac plus rb into bc minus w by 2 into ea minus w into fa equal to 0 so the equation will be 0.4 rb into 4 sin 45 plus rb into so 0.4 rb into uh, what is the distance ac ac is 4 cos 45 okay so 0.4 rb into 4 cos 45 plus rb into sin uh, 4 sin 45 my equal to w by 2 into x cos 45 equal to w, uh, plus w into 2 cos 45 so this is how you get the equation ra 1.25 w rb 0.625 w and rb into 4 sin 45 plus 0.4 into rb into 4 cos 45 equal to 0.5 w into x cos 45 plus w into 2 cos 45 answer x is equal to 3 meters so that is the answer